Hello there and welcome to the video that you've all finally been waiting for. This is all the Lego sets that will be retiring by the end of the year. Now the list I've got up to go through with you is of Brick Fanatics. I'll leave a link top of the description below as I think this is the most complete link that I've seen. And not only does it have the sets retiring at 2023, December the 31st, but it also shows which sets could be retiring both next year and in 2025, which, of course, there is no knowing when the sets retire. For all we know, this Kenobi Invader set could retire this year, though the Brickheads tend to stick around a bit longer than most of the other sets. But if you do want to check out any of the sets retiring past the end of this year, do be sure to go and check them out. But I'd just like to reiterate that no one knows what sets are going to be retired when. I'm not even sure Lego know until they retire them. Unless you see a massive discount in your Lego store, it's kind of a giveaway that it won't be around for long. But starting off with the Lego Star Wars sets, we actually start with one of my top picks for this video. You would have seen it in the thumbnail, the Ahsoka Tano Brickhead. Now, this is only a tenner, no matter if you're using American dollars, euros, or pounds. As you can see, it's $9.99, and there's only 164 pieces, but this Brickheads is definitely one of my favourite that LEGO have ever come out with. So if you like Ahsoka in any fashion, or perhaps you think you might like if you get round to watching some of the animated shows, definitely pick this one up, as it will be worth so much after it retires. And with all the exclusive pieces in a Brickheads, it's not worth paying that much in the aftermarket. So just buy it now whilst you can. You also get 5% back on Insider Points unless you want to wait for a VIP weekend where all points are doubled. Whilst we're on the topic of Brickheads, we've also got the Battle of Endor Heroes, which is the Brickheads pack that we got in May with Wicket, Leia, R2, Luke and Lando. And alongside the Ahsoka Brickheads, it's another one of them sets that if you like it, you just have to pick them up. It is a shame that these Brickheads are going so soon, as they do normally stick around for quite a while. However, I can understand that these were for the anniversary of Return of the Jedi. And with how well these have likely sold, LEGO are able to retire them early. And I might have to pick up this set, as the Brickheads do look amazing. Next on the list is the AT-80. Now this isn't the UCS one, this is the playset which still comes with great figures and overall is quite a good set. I picked this up on sale on Amazon for about a third off, not too long after it came out. And honestly, it was a steal. Like with this Razor Crest here, they're both really good sets and though they're a bit pricey, they definitely come with the pieces and even the cool minifigures to back up that price tag. So if you can see any of these sets that we're gonna be going over on sale, chances are most of these will be worth being picked up. Now, an iconic duo that are going into retirement together are the Imperial TIE Fighter and Luke's X-Wing. Now, the Imperial TIE Fighter, in my opinion, is one of the greatest, as not only could you build the Imperial TIE Fighter itself, but I also built an advanced TIE and tried building Vader's TIE with it, because the pieces you get in the set are just so versatile, and the way they build the wings and everything just works so well. So perhaps you might already have a TIE Fighter, but want to give a chance at building one of the other models. Now the instructions are out there. I'm sure many people have uploaded tutorials and the like. So if you do want another one, it might be worth picking up before it goes into retirement. However, that said, there is always a Luke's X-Wing on sale at some point. It's sort of like the bigger Luke's land speeder, I suppose. And though we do have the UCS model, perhaps they'll give some time off to allow that to get a bit more attention. However, I wouldn't be surprised if sometime next year they release another X-Wing and perhaps another Imperial ship to go along with it. The Republic gunship is retiring just as the new ones come out. Obviously, the new one's a playset, and this is the UCS set. But it's had its run, and it's a really cool UCS set. It's just a shame it doesn't come with any limited figures, as the window that comes in it, I don't even think has arm printing, unlike the rumoured Venator that will be coming with two exclusive minifigures. Boba Fett's Starship is also quite a nice buy. I got bought this set a year or two ago, and my favourite part is the Carbonite figures you get, just a sticker on a really tall brick. So there's nothing really special about the set, but if you don't have Boba Fett's Starship or Fire Spray, 
as it's called in universe then it might be worth taking a look at this especially to go with your other mandalorian lego sets now another brickhead duo that i have picked up and it does look really cool next to ahsoka is the mandalorian and the child this has been on shelves for just over three years though it's retiring it's given people plenty of chance to get it so i don't see this one going on sale too much unless stores are just trying to clear stock but the child is another set retiring. This is the bigger Grogu or Din Grogu as he is now. And personally, I'm not a fan of these bigger models. Like with Yoda and the R2-D2s that come out. Because they are a bit pricey. I wouldn't have minded a smaller model. But the battle packs I do love. The Snowtrooper battle pack again has been out for nearly two years. So it's going to retire. But fear not, we have plenty of other battle packs on the shelf. We've got the 332nd alongside the 501st. And there's a rumour that we've got a new one on the way in January, which can defy all our expectations. I have built a speeder that I'd like to show up in more battle packs, so we get a few more builds. And perhaps I'll make a video on my dream battle pack. So stay tuned for that. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss when that video drops. We have a few other sets most noticeably in the list here the dark trooper attack that not only i reviewed recently but also got two to build a diorama and if you can pick it up for half price the diorama for 30 pound would be a really good build so i will try to get the instructions to you as soon as i can so that you can build one of the cheapest dioramas currently available well it's not available through lego but it would be a really nice diorama for that price and even £60 wouldn't be too bad if you picked up two for full price. As you're looking at the Death Star Trench Run Diorama, which comes in at the same price tag. And yeah, it's got a few more pieces. It's got 665 compared to the 332 pieces that you would get with two Dark Trooper attacks. And even then, you're not using them all. However, the Death Star Trench Run does contain a load of smaller pieces than the dark trooper attack the most interesting pieces to pick up here would be the cockpits for the tie fighters and also r2's printed tile who sits on the back of the x-wing but i much prefer the dioramas that are closer to minifigure scouts such as this dagobah one here and if you picked up the playset that was released not too long ago you might already have the yoda and luke so the main grab here will not only be the tolls on the front but the r2d2 that does come with some nice back printing now we are seeing this in many more sets most notably the yoda starfighter that comes with r2 with back printing and though he's not muddied up from the swamps on dagobah it's really cool to be seeing the back printing in a 30 pound set another diorama we have retiring is the death star trash compactor and again this is the first time i believe we see r2 with that back printing and 3po as they show up and can be hidden in this little back compartment However, this 3PO with the printed arms and not the dual molded legs we see him in the X-Wing is going to be on the next issue of Star Wars magazine. Perhaps you've even already got it if you live in the mainland of Europe. However, some good news for the rest of the world that doesn't receive these magazines. Hopefully the price of 3PO on Bricklink does drop as it's so readily available and many people will be buying this magazine for four or five quid and just trying to flip an easy profit selling it a few pound higher. So perhaps keep your eye out if you don't already have this 3PO with arm printing. And if you do already have this 3PO, stay tuned for when I pick up the magazine as I'll show you how to make the ultimate prequel error C-3PO. But that is again a video off into the distance. A set that might not be too popular that is retiring is this Kenobi vs Darth Vader. Now this is the scenic set that doesn't have much playability and is really just a way for Lego to sell minifigures. As they could have done so many other scenes and we could have even got an order on playset with Leia. Especially when she gets kidnapped but Lego chose this scene. And it is quite good that you get so many exclusive pieces in Tala Durif, Ned B, Kenobi, and even the Vader is somewhat exclusive as it comes with Anakin's burnt up face, which, as far as I'm aware, is only shown in this set. So you do, on a technicality, have four exclusive minifigures, but are they exclusive enough to be paying £45 for a bit of rock work? Perhaps it would have been a lot nicer if we got some sort of shuttle or ship with it and would have made this a much more popular set.
But speaking of popular sets, the Inquisitor transport that goes along with it is also retiring alongside the Ambush on Ferrix, which wasn't the greatest of sets. However, it wasn't as bad as some people make it out to be. And you've also seen Luke's helmet as well as the Dark Trooper helmet are all retiring and the helmet line is looking like it's coming to an end. It's a shame we didn't see any more droid helmets or other Mandalorian helmets as there are so many iconic helmets in Star Wars. They really could have just continued this with a few a year, perhaps one a wave. And that would have been enough to keep people hooked. But the Republic fighter tank is alongside all the other retirees. And if you can catch this on sale towards the end of the year, I do recommend picking it up. It's the only time we'll see Mace Windu's Legion of Clones that have only showed up at the end of the Clone Wars, the final season, where he's fighting alongside Kenobi. They literally get one frame on screen. And they were originally created by Hasbro to give Windu some clones to fight against. So chances are we will never see these minifigures updated ever in Lego form. So if you want these, do pick up a set. Now, I talk a lot about clones, but the Mace Windu that comes with this set is really cool. He gets his Clone Wars arm printing, and all the minifigures in here are great. We even get some droids to go along with the clones, which is a rarity, especially when it comes to battle packs. But I'm happy they nudged the price up a little bit for this and gave us a bigger build, as the tank definitely couldn't have been made much smaller. And wrapping up LEGO Star Wars, we will get to all the other themes retiring. Or the set's retiring at least, as I don't think any themes are closing down just yet. But the advent calendar that just come out will also retire the 31st of December this year. Advent calendars never see it into New Year. And even in stores that sell Lego, you'd be lucky if you see it after Christmas, as they always go on sale and are swooped up very quickly. But I have picked up an advent calendar already, and I will be opening them every day of December. So check out my shorts to see which figures we get on each day. And now we're on to Lego ideas. There are a few good idea sets and one that really caught my eye is this medieval blacksmith, which is retiring. And though I really like it, I haven't picked it up as 160 pound for a set that will probably break apart is very expensive. But I do hope we get more sets in this theme as the Sanderson sisters cottage, which is one of the new Disney sets that have come out does pair very well with this and I can see them continuing a theme with idea sets to allow them to be shelved next to each other. It's also a shame to see the Winnie the Pooh set go as the minifigures and the unique moulds of that set are going to skyrocket after the end of the year and Table Football is also retiring which was a very controversial set which might explain why it's retiring a year and a half before the other two. And another year for Lego Marvel sets. It's not been the best with the new ones, but hopefully we will see some great ones in the new year. Perhaps they were just clearing for ideas and at least it's been better than DC. And I apologize to any DC fans, but the DC sets of recent have been a bit on the worst for wear side. But focusing on Marvel, we're getting a load of sets retiring. You might recognize most of these from sales that you've seen around We've got the Guardian ship and the new Guardian ship, as well as all of the other Guardian sets seemingly that have just come out, like the headquarters. And I say just come out, they came out in April, but they're retiring pretty quickly. So I suppose they think that now the Guardians movie has been out, it's hit Disney Plus, on to the next thing. But once again, I'll leave the list top of the description if you want to check out any of these in greater detail. And again, the advent calendar that has only just come out is retiring, as they always do. Now, a theme I might spend a bit more time on, as it is a bit closer to Star Wars than Marvel, is the Harry Potter theme, as there are some interesting rumours we've got for next year already. One linking closely to 4 Privet Drive, as we are expecting to get Hedwig on the 4 Privet Drive sign. Now, this isn't going to be a minifigure scale or even a Hedwig figure scale set, as I assume we're going to get a nice display set with the road name on, and a decent sized Hedwig that will sit on top. Now for 70 quid and 797 pieces, I assume it'll be a bit smaller than the Hedwig that we got a while back where its wings move and you can act like it's flying and it comes with a stand, which is actually the set just below it that's also retiring. So this is the set that I mean, it will be a bit smaller than this Hedwig, but will come with a nice road sign that it can sit on, which is funny as Hedwig has two different Lego molds, one sitting and one flying. You can see the flying one on screen now, and it will be interesting to get a bigger sitting out. 
We've also got a few different parts of Hogwarts that are retiring, making way for new rooms, and it's not the end of the modular Hogwarts as they are coming out with a few new buildings. So we can expect to see places like the Owlery that we haven't seen in Lego form yet coming next year, which does line up with all the different areas of Hogwarts we've been getting of recent. All the banners are also retiring at the minute. If you buy them through Lego, I believe they're on a two for 50 pound or something like that, where you get about 20% off. And I believe it's the Gryffindor and Ravenclaw or the Slytherin and Hufflepuff. I don't know if you can mix and match them, but it'll be worth a look if you want either of them, especially if you and your partner are different houses. It'll be fun to get the both of them for cheaper. And again, the advent calendar just come out, but it will be retiring at the end of December. Now, it looks like none of the Indiana Jones sets are retiring in 2023 and instead all set to retire next year, which is great to see them sticking around for a bit longer as they did only come out April of this year. And it is a bit odd if sets retire within the year that they are released, unless they are promotional, like the Return of the Jedi Brickheads. Now, some Technic models that are retiring this year. A lot of the bigger cars that came out a year or two ago and there's even Dom's Dodge Charger and the Ducati Panigale which I apologize if I say any of these wrong I'm not a big car fan but they have been out for nearly three years well two and a half years so it's definitely their time to go but they must have been popular enough to hang on for this long and that is one thing you've got to consider as well with Lego they are selling the sets that are popular so Perhaps the Batmobile will be popular enough to survive another half year, but based on when it came out, we can expect it to retire at the end of the year. And when you're on lego.com, they don't always say when sets are going to retire. One day it might be there. And then before you know, it is sold out, never to return. And they don't even have to properly sell out. Lego could just cut it on the website and give the rest of its sets to the stores that sell them. But we also have some Lego icon sets retiring at the end of this year. Now, most of these will be the modular buildings, such as the Assembly Square, the Bookshop, the Haunted House, which isn't quite a modular building. But you've also got the Police Station and even the Horizon Forbidden West set, which I know among Star Wars fans was definitely popular after a certain Bad Batch episode. And even the Galaxy Explorer is retiring at the end of this year. So once again, most of the pieces in this set aren't stickered, but are rather printed. So it might be worth picking up the set before they retire, just because of how expensive the pieces are going to be. A few of them you might find on Lego's website selling in the pick a brick category. But any of the themed ones like the Friends Apartments will not be on there as they don't have the right to sell the pieces separately. If you also want to build my friend's modular tower, it's worth picking up the Friends Apartment as you just get so many spare pieces and by the time you've bought all the special printed tiles or even the sticker sheet it will probably set you back the price you'll pay for the set and you won't have any spare pieces left to show for it but the instructions for that are on rebrickable at the minute hopefully i can change that and provide an easier way for you to get all my instructions a lot cheaper in the future but once again it's something we'll have to wait for so if you want to build my friend's tower all three floors will be on Rebrickable at the time of recording this video. And now into Lego architecture. You've seen the new Lego sets that have just come out in my store video, and I also covered them September 1st, but the only set retiring is the White House. Now, I'm not too sure with the architecture buildings, how many good pieces are actually in the building itself, Looking at this model for the first time, you can see there is a printed plaque. I hope it's printed at the front with the White House on. And this American flag can also be found on the Lego Pick a Brick online. So if there's no other exclusive or hard to find items in here, you'd probably be best bricking it out, especially as you could then modify it to fit with your little miniature skyline or city, whichever you are building. So looking at the next theme, we have the retiring Lego Ninjago sets. Now, I'll have to be keeping one eye on this as if you've seen any of my Lego custom videos, chances are you'll have bumped into a part used from a Ninjago video, especially for my custom Hiang, which pretty much is just Echo Zane with a pirate hat. So go check it out if you haven't seen it already, but there are a bunch of sets retiring 
and especially being Lego's original theme, as in they come up with this idea themselves. This will probably have near the amount of sets that Harry Potter and Marvel have, and perhaps once you take out any of the brickheads from Star Wars, it wouldn't fare too bad against that list either. And even though these are all retiring by the end of the year, you see they're mostly from either June this year or January of last year. And actually they're mostly from June or January of last year with only a few from this year making the cut. And even then you've got the Spinjitsu sets, which are only little and they're probably making way for a different, smaller set. As I remember getting the spinners and they'd always change the accessory pack so perhaps they're making way for either new characters or a new spinner entirely. And it is odd to see the mech go but it's been out for a year so again perhaps they're making more mechs especially with all the Star Wars ones coming out. There's so many techniques I think the mechs will change so much in the next few years as they expand into other themes. And of course Dreams has just come out so again there's no retiring sets there. However, taking a look at DC, we have the Jim Lee Batman collection, which is the art set that you can connect three to make a bigger art set to hang on your wall. We've also got last year's Batmobile and Penguin Chase, as well as Batman versus Harley Quinn. It's a shame to see some of these sets go, as at the minute, we only really have a bunch of Batman versus Joker sets that all come with roughly the same figures. And even because the whole Batman theme is quite dark and all the Bat vehicles are black, there's not too much difference between many of the sets. And they'd perhaps have been better just building a three-in-one for Batman that you can build between a car, boat and jet. So you never know, we might see that in the future. Now with Lego Mario, I am expecting all these sets to retire really soon, especially the 2024 sets to retire before the end of the year. And as you can see, a lot of the sets retired in July this year. But the reason I want them to retire isn't because I dislike the theme so much, but rather because with the release of the Sonic sets, I'd like to see some Mario minifigures. And especially where competition is involved between Nintendo and Sega, it'd be great to see the minifigures try to compete with the awesome Sonic molds that have already come out. But moving swiftly on to Sonic with its mention, again a theme that's just come out, no sets retiring at the end of this year, although by the looks of them they're all going to be retiring next year. So perhaps these will have a fast turnaround and will just make for more display sets as they can keep switching up which planets and worlds that Sonic is adventuring on. And I'd also like to see not only Knuckles, who does have a design already made for one of the Sonic games, but other characters like Shadow, who was teased at the end of the last Sonic movie. And also other characters like Blaze that I remember on the games that I played growing up. Now for one of the more creative themes, pun very much intended, we've got a few sets that are retiring. Cyber Drone is one of the best smallest sets, mostly for the minifigure, I suppose. But just look at it, it's got not only a space torso, which is always cool, but a trans blue head with this robotics printed on, and even the ship looks a really cool build, so I might have to pick this one up before it retires. But we have a few other sets, which again, if you buy a few of, you can combine them and make them your own modular, which is a very fun way of doing it, as LEGO haven't sold, say, a Surfer Beach House modular set yet. However, we also have a few flower, well, one flower set, in the two lips that is retiring as well as the lego tuk tuk and the paris postcard and perhaps one of the other popular themes the lego speed champion says we know that dom's dodge charger and bond's aston martin is retiring and we've also got the aston martin double pack retiring alongside the toyota gr supra and this car which I'm not even going to try to pronounce Koenigsegg Jesko. And though the Dodge Charger is retiring this year, we can expect to see Brian's Nissan Skyline survive until at least the end of next year, as it has only just come out at the start of 2023. Now, the collectible minifigures aren't always around, and usually when one set comes out, the next retires. So, of course, we can see the Disney 100 has already retired with the Marvel series coming out. And chances are that will retire by January when we see the next Lego minifigure series. However, there is a chance that it will survive a bit longer if the collectible minifigure series isn't themed. I might see us through till May when the next themed minifigure series comes out. 
as usually the January minifigure series is always Lego's own series. But with the Disney minifigures retiring, we've also got a few more Disney sets that are retiring. We've actually got a list that might fare up to the Star Wars one. And we've got the Camping Trip, Castle Defenders, Elsa's Castle, pretty much all the buzz sets that are left, as well as a few brick heads of Donald, Daisy, Goofy, Pluto, Scrooge, Huey, Dewey, Louie, and a load of the doll sets, as I've said, Elsa's Castle, Rapunzel's Tower, the Beauty and the Beast Castle, and more. And we've also got a recent look at a few of the Wish sets that have come out. I'll put some pictures up on screen, which aren't just going to be popular with Disney fans, but also Mario fans, as they come with an awesome new star that could be easily printed on to resemble the Mario star. And taking a look at Lego Avatar, we do have a few from the first wave. Jake and his avatar in brickhead form, Neytiri and the Thanator versus the Amp Suit, the Floating Mountains, Mako Submarine and the Reef Home, all retiring this year whilst the rest of them you can expect to last till next year as all these sets have lasted a year. And Jurassic World also sees out some sets in the Dinosaur Nursery, the Pteranodon Chase, the Atrociraptor Dinosaur Bike Chase, Quetzal Coatless, Plain Ambush. Some of these names are just made to catch you up. You just know it. Another Raptor and T-Rex Dino Breakout, Triceratops Pickup Truck, and the T-Rex Breakout. And again, as far as rumours go, I do believe we are going to be expecting a Lego set based on the scene when the T-Rex comes breaking through that main hall with the banner and just lets out that roar, which is one of the most iconic Jurassic Park moments. So keep an eye out for any news regarding that set. There are nine Monkey Kid sets retiring. I'm not too sure much about Monkey Kid. I think I got a promo when the set was originally coming out, but I haven't been interested in it too long, and it just hasn't caught my eye like other themes, even Lego Dreams, caught my eye. But Monkey Kid's just been missing the spark for me. If you want any of these sets, be sure to pick them up before they retire. And onto Lego City, which, to be fair, how many sets release? I'm not surprised that it's got the biggest list so far. Again, you can check out the list, top of the description below. The Lego City Wave has many more affordable themes, and a few of the sets I'd like to point out here is, first off, this bathtub stunt bike. I think this is hilarious. This is a great idea for them to have done on a bike, and the bath piece just fits over it so nicely and includes a scuba helmet for as he's racing along, as well as a little ducky to put on the front of the bike. And all these stunt bikes are pullback bikes. If you pull it back, it will shoot forward. So it's pretty cool to be included in LEGO, as we haven't seen it in too many sets away from LEGO Technic. And you can see there's plenty of stunt sets here. I mean, this whole chunk is just purely stunt sets as well as a few different space sets making way for next year, which does seem to be space heavy in not only Lego City, but also the minifigure collection series, and I'm sure we'll see some more icon sets to go along with the other Lego space sets, of which the big one is retiring at the end of the year. You might have seen it earlier. And again, the advents never stick around for long, so be sure to pick it up before Christmas. And with the introduction of this new Spider-Man art set, I'm still not too sure what I think of it. But we have some art sets retiring in the Jimny Batman collection that I mentioned with the DC collection. We also have floral art and not only the world map, but the Rolling Stones art set, which are all a bit pricey. I guess floral art is the more affordable, especially when it comes with more pieces than the Rolling Stones. But I'm pretty sure it'd be a lot cheaper just to get the studs and try and build it yourself using online instructions. But if you don't want the hassle, be sure to pick them up before the end of the year. Now, Lego Friends is a theme I'm keeping my eye on for, just for this botanical garden set. I mean the pieces, not only do you get frogs used as plants, as well as hair pieces, coat accessories, and the likes. You also get some butterflies, which are very nice. But the set overall just looks really cool. And you could definitely fit this in your Lego city, take away the mini dolls, and it's still an awesome set. I think Lego should have definitely done this as some sort of modular, beefed it up, and just added it onto the modular base plates and so many people would be picking up this set however it is not one of the sets retiring as far as i'm aware and there are quite a few sets retiring which will clear way for plenty more in the new year but again if you're interested in friends check it out top link of the description the only thing i'll mention is the advent calendar once again it comes out september retires by the end of december 
If you've bought Lego before, you might already know that, as it doesn't change. But Gabby's Dollhouse sets, I have no idea what it's based off. They've just come out, and like all the others, none are retiring this year. Now, we've seen most of the Brickheads, but I'll just point out the ones I've missed. Harry, Hermione, Ron and Hagrid, the Lion Dance Guy, Manchester United, Barcelona, Chippendale, Woody and Bo Peep, the Professors of Hogwarts, the Disney 100 Celebration, which probably is something like the Endor Heroes, and we're also getting the early retirement of Alex, Llama and Zombie, all from Minecraft. The Llama is really cool. And once again, Mando and his kid. And as we near the end, we've also got the Dots theme, which... Personally, I think it's very expensive, but you do get some nice printed tiles. So all these sets are retiring, including the three Harry Potter sets in the Hogwarts accessory pack, the Hedwig pencil holder and the Hogwarts desk kit. But onto Lego Minecraft, which is another one of the really popular waves. We have a few sets, the Coral Reef, the Pig House, the Portal. And you can see the most notable retirees here are probably the Llama Village, the Abandoned Village and the training grounds maybe the ice castle they're the bigger sets as well as the pig house however it might be worth checking out all these sets if you collect lego minecraft as some of the pieces are exclusive to sets until they're reused but if you can pick them up in a sale you might be able to use them in your lego minecraft worlds if you build it and we got a few seasonal sets retiring all the lunar new years are retiring as it's no longer that lunar year and it's also a sad time as the Halloween cat and mouse and the wintertime polar bears that I've just done a review on my channel are retiring, which on one hand means that you won't be able to buy these sets from Lego anymore when it comes to Halloween or Christmas after this year. However, it also means that they're clearing up some space for perhaps some new sets and even the Easter and Valentine sets are also retiring. So perhaps we'll get some new ones in the new year. And I have seen a rumour about a new colourful rabbit and Easter egg display. So perhaps that is replacing the old one. Also, the Christmas wreath 2-in-1 is retiring. And this Duplo set is also on its way out. Now, the classics theme, you might have heard me say in my recent video, can get pretty expensive when you just want a few basic bricks. But they are retiring quite a few sets including this year's creative monkey fun which i saw on display during my lego store trip visit and it is really funny to look at and you also have 90 years of play which does recreate some of the older sets you can see they've tried to recreate the bionicle figure there you've got the pirate theme old police sets and even some of the newer friends sets and dots collections recreated as miniatures with lego bricks and you've even got a model of the duck so if you're perhaps an older fan of Lego with some kids that are trying to get into Lego, this would be a great set to pick up before it retires at the end of the year. And now that is all for the Lego retiring sets. There are some few questions answered at the bottom of the page. So if you have any other questions, don't forget you can leave them in the comments and I'll respond. But also check out this page as they may have already answered it for you. And thank you for watching this video. As you can see, as I scroll back up, there are so many sets retiring. So it does get a bit hard to keep track of them all. However, I do urge you pick up a few that I've mentioned, especially the Ahsoka Tano Brickheads, as it's probably the cheapest set I'd recommend picking up before it retires. And you can see just at the top, there are so many different themes to choose from. But I hope you found something in this video that you might want to pick up before the end of the year. Or perhaps you saw a set that you didn't know beforehand and are now going to pick it up whilst you've got the chance. Either way, I hope you enjoyed this video, and don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss when I upload, and leave a like if you enjoyed. May the bricks be with you, always.